to cancel or not to cancel? That is the question. And just so you know, um, the whole unit six, where we talk about rational expressions and rational equations, I'm going to be feeling Halloweenish, all right? Just consider yourself forewarned. So, to cancel or not to cancel, that is the question. Let's take a look here. We're going to be simplifying this rational expression. And by the way, a rational expression, when I simplify, or when I, in layman's terms, describe what a rational expression is, basically it's a fraction where you've got um, variables in the numerator and denominator. That's how I call it. There's probably a, I know there's a better way to describe it, but that's what I'll do. Okay, now, I'm grabbing red, and if you've been watching some of my videos, you know that when I'm grabbing red, usually that means don't do this, so that's exactly what this is going to be saying. Don't do this. People will take the 3x, or 3y cubed, or 6y to the 4th, and minus 3y cubed, and they say, oh, look, I can cancel these guys out. Well, first of all, I can't stand when people use the word cancel because that's not quite mathematically correct. So I say divide out. Well, you can't do that because when you're reducing a numerator with a denominator, what you're reducing or what's, can't, what's dividing out needs to be getting multiplied to the entire numerator and multiplied to the entire denominator, okay? So again, what you're trying to divide out needs to be getting multiplied to the entire numerator and the entire denominator. This 3y cubed in the denominator, it's getting subtracted from the 6y to the 4th. That's what's making it so that we can't do this uh, dividing out thing. If that sign was a multiplication symbol instead, then yes, you could have. So what do you do instead? Well, if you followed me along this far, you know that I've been saying um, get pretty good at factoring, okay? Because it's going to be all over the place from here on out, and this is no exception. If we pull out our greatest common factor in our denominator, it turns out our greatest common factor is 3y cubed. You factor that out of the 6y to the 4th, that gives you a 2y, and then here a minus 1, right? Now, we can divide out factors. Because notice this 3y cubed, it's now getting multiplied to the entire denominator. That's what's making this so that you can. All right? Now, you also don't want to do this at this point. Say, oh, my answer is 2y minus 1. Woo, we got it. No, you didn't. Why not? Well, it's because when you divide out something in the numerator and the entire numerator drops out like that, well, first of all, it doesn't drop out all the way. Something's always going to be left. If it looks like everything drops out in the numerator, there's always the number 1. All right, so my answer here is actually 1 over 2y minus 1. Now it's factored and reduced and simplified and all that good stuff.